Hi guys, Tyson Fury here, aka the Gypsy King. I've just seen Joshua lose for the second time to Usyk out of his depth. Um, Boo. However, England has been relieved of its belts yet again, as usual. Shocking. But there is a remedy and a solution that I can suggest. If you want those belts back, huh. Huh. then send in the Gypsy Barbarian huh. of huh. England. Huh. Come huh. on! Huh. Send me in. Huh. I will relieve the Ukrainian dosser. Dosser. Of his belts, like oh. I did the last Ukrainian dosser. Wow! But it's not gonna be cheap. Oh no! If you want the best, then you gotta pay. Oh no! It's gonna be very expensive. Oh no! So get your fucking checkbook out. Oh no! And I will relieve that Ukrainian dosser of them belts. You know. Oh Hi my. guys, Tyson Fury. God. So we just heard there from your man, Tyson <laughs> Fury. Now, this video is a day or so old, and I tell you that to say, Fury really is starting to piss me off right now. Now, I ain't gonna lie to no one, the start of this video had me gassed. You heard me, oh, yeah? You wonder why we don't give no, oh, unless he gassed. I was feeling that. Tyson Fury said, listen, I've already cleaned the clock of the last bum dosser from the Ukraine, yeah? If the second one wants it, he can get it. I'm all down for that. I love that kind of stuff. I love that kind of talk where you put everyone in one bucket kind of thing. That's the kind of disrespect I like from this game. Yeah? Guess what? If you're born from a particular country, that's good. Because I love molly whopping all the dudes from that particular country. Do you understand? Specifics. I don't care if it's Klitschko or Usyk Co, whoever it is, you're all the same from there. I'm going to fill you all in. That's the kind of talk I want to hear. Rather than, oh, well, hello, Mr. Usyk. How about we, how about at the press conference, we take photos and how about at the press conference, you take my belt and take pictures with it on some AJ ting. I'm with that. I'm with the first half of this video from Fury. It had me gassed quite a bit. To be quite frank, yeah, it had me gassed. You, the UK once again has been punked back to back twice. Yeah, AJ got turned over in front of his own, in his own manner, with no shame. Those words spoke by Fury, no true word said. He said, listen, the UK once again has been made a mockery of. No one, sta I'm sorry, yeah, but no one actually turns up and stands up for the UK. I'm not someone who's even patriotic, but still, for the principle of it, yeah. Listen, AJ for years has conned the UK fans. Got us all gassed up, sold 80,000 tickets, sold millions of pay-per-views, and then flapped it and had no shame in doing so. And then resold, rather than sit down somewhere, AJ could have quite easily said, listen people, let me not bring the UK's reputation into disrepute anymore. Let me sit down somewhere. Let me take the UYB's advice and sit down and call it a day. And leave with some dignity left. Oh no, not Johnston. Johnston says, oh well, wait, wait a minute. Have the Saudis got some more coin for me? He goes straight over there and he sells his backside to the little middleweight dosser once again. No shame. And like Fury says, there's only one man. Unfortunately, listen, you might know, I was a massive AJ fan. But unfortunately, in 2022, in August 2022, the only man for the job. I tell you who it ain't. It's not Dillian. Why is it? <laughs> let's be real now. Let's talk all, you know, before we decide on who it is, let's talk about all the people it definitely ain't. It definitely ain't Bumillion Shite, aka Dillian White. It definitely ain't Anthony John Stewart. It definitely ain't whatever other UK bum you've got. I'll be the first one. I'm not, listen, would I rather be sitting here telling you? Tyson Fury had just lost twice to Usyk. And it was AJ who was going to save the day. Absolutely. But that was not reality. The reality is. The middleweight bomb Dosa Has just filled in Anthony John Stewart. Once in his own manner. And once cashing out in Saudi. And the only man for the job. Is Tyson Fury. That's the only man. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Dillian White would lose even more handedly 
done. AJ did. Dillian White so slow. I mean, AJ is even looking, starting to look slow, but he's so slow. Unbelievably slow. Florably slow. So yeah, I'm, I was gassed. Tyson Fury talking the thing. Yeah, send in a UK barbarian to go get them belts back. Yeah, from the Ukrainian bum Dossa. And I can't lie to you, on Twitter, part of what excited me even more about Fury's speech is because, guess what? There's a whole bunch of rainbow flag weirdo dons. There's a whole bunch of SJW cats in the comment section of this video saying, oh, I don't like the way they, uh, uh, they use some sort of word. Oh, oh, that's it, xenophobic. Oh, I don't like the way that Tyson Fury's being xenophobic and, oh... Yeah, what Fury's always bringing in nationality. Get, get, you man need to get alive. That's what trash talks about. I know all you dons have a stiff, have a big stick up your ass, and you like to be nice and stiff. Arr! That's why I never really can't lie to you. Even though I used to like, like, even though I used to rate AJ, yeah, I can't stand AJ fans. AJ fans, for the most part, are virtue signalling. Weirdos. Oh, YB, we love to be respectful. Oh, no, YB, I love how respectful AJ is. And in reality, it was all a front. Because really, let's call a spare spade here. In the last 10 years that AJ has been telling us about stay humble and stay respectful, in the last 10 years, who has been the man who's done the most disrespectful actions in the history of the game? Honestly, you, you tell me, who has been more disrespectful than AJ? At the weekend. Name me one person. Go on. Historically. Name one. I've never seen someone. For all the bad people that have been in the sport. I've never seen someone take another man's belts. And throw them out the ring. I've never seen that one. Oops. So for all that. All that fronting. All that virtue signalling. Oh no why be. AJ isn't. Can't. Isn't a rogue man. He's so much higher than you. He's so much purer than you. Oops. Where was all that purity you was waffling about? And that's the point here people. Fury's out here. Whatever way you look at it, being himself, telling you. I don't care about what phobia you be talking about. I don't talk, oh, well, you're being xenophobic. Listen, I'm being Ukrainian philanophobic, 100%. Tarzan Fury is admittedly a Ukrainian philanophobic, yeah, 100%. He loved to fill in Ukraine. What can we say? Oops, not his fault. It's not his fault. He loved to fill in Ukrainian dons. What can we say? Guess what? If Ukrainian cats don't like that, your man's well within his right, you sick. To do something about it. And listen. I told you before. If Usyk beats Fury. I will say. Usyk's probably. Certainly almost. One of the top three fighters of all time. Pound for pound. I'll give him his respect. But until then. Here bomb Dossa. Yeah. Simple as that. In my mind. In my mind. Fury runs through him. Now. Having said all that. It's actually what makes me more frustrated with Fury. Because as happy and as gassed I was to hear. Fury for me brings back or in certain parts, brings back what boxing's supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be about sucking each other off at any given opportunity. AJ spent his whole career, even in, in his prime, sucking, trying to suck his opponent off. Super weird. And look, at, and look how now it's come unstuck. Maybe if people listened to me when I was saying, F all that trying to suck people off crap. Go back to the road thing. Be on this thing. Maybe if people listened to me, we wouldn't be in the situation we're in now. Oh no, why be AJ is so pure? Oh no, why be AJ is a philosopher? Oh no, why be AJ is trying to change the all this kind of weird, super weird? Now your man's washed up, can't win a fight against a dude half his size. Yeah, how that work out for you? How that work out? How did this trying to be super pure work out for you? Now your man's tweaking out, throwing someone else's belts out the ring, bugging. What happened to stay humble? What happened to that? Oh, my man used to prance around the place, preaching to the, preaching to people like he was holier than thou. Oh, I'll stay humble, stay respectful. Just it was and it was all bullshit as well, because the one time really AJ has never actually had to prove he's humble until last night. And guess what? His second all it took yeah was AJ's second loss or third loss, and his all that ten years of bullshit went flying out the window, and we found out who the real guy was. And the worst thing is. I don't even necessarily hate the new guy. I think that's how you should be in this game. Apart from the fact that AJ didn't communicate that in the ring. That's my only, my only issue. My issue, I told you before, my issue was naturally the fact that I actually liked what AJ did. I think AJ should have been throwing belts more often, truth be known. But the problem was, it's the disconnect. If you're going to throw belts, first, before you throw belts, 
you throw belts during the 12 rounds. I was waiting for AJ to get throw beltsy from round 1 to round 12. He didn't do that. And then after the fight, he trying to... Nah, that, that don't work for me. But anyway. End of day, Tyson Fury being real here. And in fact, there's some SJW cats running around the place crying. Oh, why be... Oh. His beans and the fur, oh, get, all the whole bits. I'm sick of the whole bit. All, I'm sick of people putting a bick on ev- on the end of everything. Oh, he he he's a, he, he this bick, he that bick, he's xenophobic. Oh, get like, what's wrong with you, man? Get alive, yeah. What happened to just sucking it up or doing something about it? In all fairness, you sick. It's not. It's often not even the people. It's the fans. The fans are weirdos. Oh, Fury said this. Oh, no word of a lie. There was one dance. Oh, I hate the way Fury puts everyone into a group. And oh, why is Fury constantly making things racial about the Ukraine? Well, you man, honestly, all Fury's done here is make a basic correlate, make a basic, what's the word? Make a basic reference. Are you okay? Listen, I'm guaranteeing you, yeah, if both men had size seven feet, he'd say the same thing. Oh, I'm going to beat up on the. The size seven foot midget dossers. It just so happens the one characteristic they have in common, you, Vladimir Ukraine, Usyk Ukraine. That's why he picked that. If there was other similarities, he'd have outed them. And another reason I respect Fury is because guess what? Fury, we just saw AJ grandstanding after the fight. After he threw the man's belts out of the ring, he was then grandstanding. Talking about, oh, I know the Ukrainian people have been doing this at the other. And for me, the fact that Fury isn't tip-tap towing around that subject. Because for me, the fight game is the fight game. Yeah, if you've got problems going on, retire and do your thing. But I'm I'm looking at this game for looking at this game's sake, if you get what I'm saying. I ain't going to be... Some people try and mix the two. Oh, well, why be... Because of what's going on. There's, listen, there's wars going on everywhere. Ukraine isn't the first place. Or isn't even the only place today. That have got wars going on. So I'm, I just don't have. I have sympathy for everyone equally. I'm not someone who's going to. Just because the media tell me to suck Ukraine off the most. I've got issues. You know I mean, there's been longer standing. There's been longer lasting conflicts going on. So they, for me, they're all an issue. Yeah, I'm not just going to suck one, one off. Because I'm told to suck off one particular conflict. So with that in mind. I rate Fury because Fury, if Fury, if Fury was AJ, yeah, number one, he'd lost. But <laughs> more specifically to this point, if Fury was AJ, he'd be saying, "Ooh, what's that? Wait there a minute. I better not say. I better not make that reference because that's a bit edgy. That's a bit edgy. That's a bit touchy. That subject's a bit touchy today." Now I'm not even sure. Maybe Fury is just dopey and doesn't realise that. And that's the thing. That's how you can tell that Fury really isn't coming from a bad place. Because if he was. He'd have thought, well, I better not say anything too aggressive against Ukrainian people because of the situation. But either way, Fury said, F that. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say, that's how, back in the day, yeah, that's how men used to be. Men didn't think too much about perceived media consequences. I'm a man, and I'm telling you how I'm feeling. Yeah. And if I feel like putting two Ukrainian bum dossers in a box, that's what I'll do. Yeah. And if you don't like, if you don't like it, tell one of them. To do something about it. That's the bottom line. And that's how it should be. That's how the heavyweight game. That's how all the boxing game should be. And Fury. To some extent at least. Is bringing some order. Some parliamentary procedure. Back. To that principle. Yeah. Now. I know I've spent a long time going around the whole houses. But that's the first half. The second half is dead. There's more videos coming soon. Fury, over the last few days, all we've heard, we've heard a few good bits, like the start of this video, but after that, oh, money this, money that, I want to get paid. And I think it's shocking that, number one, Fury prances around the place like he's the people's champion. It's like, and then he, he even had the audacity to say, oh, well, yeah, I would have fought AJ for free, but the Usyk fight's going to cost you. It's like, number one, stop lying. Yeah, you know, and that convenient. Oh, I would have done the AJ fight for free, but this one's gonna cost you five hundred million. It's like people are. I ain't gonna lie. It's not. Is it Fury's fault that people are struggling from for bills going up? No, but it's kind of like do we just, just at them of all the things the public might need to hear. Do you think the public needs to hear that you want to get paid? No, and the thing is, no one's saying. Am I sitting there telling you Fury should only get five mil? No. 
What I am saying is, at this particular point in time, people don't want to hear about ridiculous, absorbent, absorbent, whatever that word is. People don't want to hear about ridiculous price demands. Yeah? Don't get me wrong. Should Fury get paid as much as possible? Yeah, but the way he's going about it, he should be saying, you sick, I'll fill you in for the best price possible. Not, I'm not going to do it. Uh, forget about it. I'm staying retired. Uh, all that kind of crap. And even, even in, and the thing is, it's all a lie anyway. But it does, for me, it spoils it. It spoils the mirage. The whole, well, I feel the fight mirage is based on you, Fury wanting to prove, or should be based on, Fury wanting to prove a man can't lace his boots. It shouldn't be based on, well, Fury wants to prove he's the best if he gets paid. It's ridiculous. There's no way Fury's worth 400 million. There was one goofy in the comment section. Oh, yeah, the Saudis should just pay it. What the? Oh, Fury's the best fighter ever. The Saudis should just pay it. You Honestly, people are weird. That's not how the world works. This fight isn't worth... I think if Fury can make 100 mil for this fight, he should be bouncing off the walls. Bottom line. He should be bouncing off the walls. And really, for the risk and whatnot, he should be grateful at 50 mil. Truth be known. He should be chitting. Just, just people, just think about that for a second. For two months' work, this man makes fifty mil, and and we he wants us to feel he wants us to essentially get behind him, and put pressure on. And to be honest, at this point, yeah, I want the Saudis to put their foot down. Honestly, I don't want. I, don't, I think that's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous that a man should be demanding four hundred mil for a fight that isn't worth fifty. Do you understand what planet are you on? All, none of us can do that. None of us live on another planet. Completely ridiculous. And no one's asking him to fight for free, but just have a bit of consideration, yeah? Bearing in mind who he perceives to be. Have a bit of consideration. Right now, people need to hear about how, how you want to be paid 500 mil and you're throwing your toys out the pram if you don't get that. People are struggling to pay bills. The last thing they need to hear is that you... It's almost like the way he comes across is as if... He's being hard done by. Oh well, Floyd got 400 million. Floyd sold 4.5 million pay-per-views, you clown. Do you know what I mean? Are you dumb or what? I don't get that. Listen, Fury, if you you, you thought Wilder and sold 800,000. What planet? And Wilder was a US heavyweight. You, can't, you couldn't even crack a million pay-per-views. And you're talking about Floyd's numbers at 4.5 million. Listen, if you want to sell Floyd Mayweather numbers, you're entitled to demand Floyd Mayweather paydays. You ain't even 20% of Floyd Mayweather's numbers. It's completely ridiculous. And he must know that. So that whole thing gets me... It's a contradiction. You can't say that you six a middleweight bum dosser and then say you want to be paid 10 times more than is realistic. Because in my mind, if I'm about to fight someone who's food, yeah. If I'm about to fight someone who's easy, I, should, I shouldn't I should need more than an average salary. If anything, Fury should be saying, listen, this would be my easiest fight net yet. I'll take whatever you're giving. You know what I'm saying? That's what in my mind makes sense. Not, oh, it's an easy fight, but I want the most, I want 10 times more than I've ever been paid. Fury's $32 million payday against White was his biggest payday. Now he wants 16 times more than that. What? So, and this, unfortunately, is enabled people. And I, I, I can't agree. It's that, whole, that whole contradiction has now enabled people to start saying, well, Fury, you say that you, you six no good, but... If that's the case, why is it you was happy to fight Vlad for a million? Happy to fight Wilder for 20 million? Happy to fight White for 30 million? Why is it your easiest fight? All of a sudden you've got ridiculous demands. And we know, historically speaking, when people don't want to fight, a key go-to is the money. And 500 million, that's never going to happen. So you might as well retire. And I hope... And, I, and that's the thing, the Saudis... I really do on this one hope they put their foot down and pay, don't pay a penny more than is reasonable. And I think 100 mil for Fury will be robbing the bank. 
That would be a complete bank robbery. He should be bouncing off the walls if he can make 100 mil. And even that, realistically, 100 mil for Fury, which also means 100 mil for for um, Usyk. And that's the thing. For Fury to be paid 500, this fight's going to be done on a 60-40 basis. So for Fury to get 500 mil, yeah, Usyk would have to get 500 mil or, f- or 400 mil. Like, no one's going to spend a billion dollars for this fight. <laughs> You're completely mad. <laughs> You'll be lucky to, to be quite frank, I think they'll be lucky to make a hundred between them. Truth be known. hundred between them. And, that, and if the Saudis double down on that, I'm backing that. I'm happy not to see this fight, honestly. I'm happy not to see this fight. Because I mean, no one else is paying that, do you understand? That's the thing. People get paid based on the market. Now, if you take the Saudis out of the market, Fury's then back to US pay-per-view. Now, what do you think this fight does on US pay-per-view? I don't see this fight cracking six, seven hundred buys. Fury versus Wilder just about did that. And that was Wilder who's got knockout punch. We know that Usyk has no... Um, Usyk literally has never done a pay-per-view in the US. Usyk, I'm not even sure he's fought in the US. There is no market for Usyk. So let's do the maths here. Fury, let's say Fury versus Usyk, absolute best case, sells a million. I mean, a million would be, it's not going to happen in my opinion, but a million total revenue would be around 80 to 100 mil. And that's what I told you. Absolute best case on US pay-per-view, this fight brings in 100 mil. 50-50 or 60-40, that's 60 mil to Fury. And even then, realistically, that's not actually how the numbers work. If you sell... A million pay-per-views. The broadcasters take half off the top. So if you sell a million pay-per-views. That's not 60, 40. And 60 goes to Fury and 40 goes to Usyk. No. Half of the pot's taken out. So they end up splitting 50 mil. So. That's like 20, that's like 30 for Fury and 20 to, to Usyk. Oops. So Fury's got to be very careful right now. Assuming he wants to fight. That he doesn't out p- play silly. Oh, I want 500 when the fight's not worth more than 100. And even 100. To pay Fury 100, the Saudis have to cough up 200, which has never been done before. Because even when they paid AJ, allegedly 80, they gave Ruiz 20, if you get what I'm saying. It wasn't a 50-50 split. Anyway. I was The first half of the message, I was excited. The last half completely turned me off. And the way Fury's been carrying on, in the last few days, just going over and over. We get it, man. We get it. We get it. You're first. So I've never, honestly, I thought AJ was bad, but this guy, I've never seen someone so shamelessly and publicly thirsty for coin. He fiends for coin, man. It's a bad. I'm sorry. It's a bad look. It's a bad look here yeah, to see someone so thirsty for coin, especially when, when it takes their fancy, they come across. Like they, and it Fury, I'm, I'm a people's champion, or the people's champion, at this time, yeah, where the, and I'm not saying, it, is it Fury's responsibility? Is it Fury's responsibility to take on the public's sentiment? No, but at this particular time, the public really don't have much to look forward to. Times are hard right now. And do we really need to see a celebrity who's completed the game, 100 mil cash in the bank, no worries in the world financially? Do we really need to see a guy grandstanding about how he needs to be paid properly. Like, come on now. Of all the people in the world, yeah, who might need to be paid properly, I tell you who one ain't. It's not Tyson Fury. Boxers at the top level are grossly overpaid. Truth be known. For what they really deliver. Yeah? Fury just made 40 mil versus Dillian White. Was that really a $40 million um, performance? It's not really Fury's fault, but do you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, was it? Yeah, the one punch saved him, but the performance for the most part was shite, wasn't it? You know what I mean? So don't these guys, these guys, yeah, at the top level should really be thanking and counting the lucky stars. You know what, man? We've completely robbed a bank here. The division has never been weaker. The division has never been weaker, and the paydays have never been higher. Back in the day, yeah, when Mike Tyson was making thirty mil, when their man was fighting Lennox Lewis, Holyfield, fighting Hall of Famers, back to back to back to back. These days, Fury's getting 30, 40 mil to fight a dude, Dillian White, who wouldn't even be top 100 all the time. 
So be grateful, count your blessings, and give something back. And the thing is, I'm not someone yeah, who would tell Fury, oh, he needs to do charity work, yeah. But Fury talks about doing things to the public, yeah. If you want to give back, this is one of them ones for me. Let me give back to the public and not make it and not make this all about money. Why can't why can't people for once in this day and age just deliver the product as it was designed? Yeah, you know, just give people what they want to see. Don't give the whole oh, I want I'm so it's, it's, it comes across ungrateful. It comes across like I'm I'm so sick in this day and age. People just they literally and again, Fury come oh, I'm a Christian and I give thanks to God and all that kind of crap. But then what do we know? The Bible, I'm, I'm not a Bible basher yet, but the Bible says, if you're a fiend for cash, if all you fiend about is money, that's a big no-no. From what I understand of the Bible, yeah. People who are in love with their coin, it's no good. And yet, Fury, all, all we hear him doing recently is sucking off money. It's like, well, wait there, man. I thought you were some godly dude. That's what I don't get. Li living godly, and a lot of these guys, yeah, they come out after their fight. Oh, I give thank to God. And then all you'll see them doing is pagan behavior. Your actions, if it, I mean, if God's, I assume God isn't stupid yet, yeah, but grandstanding after a fight, we can all do that. What counts, what yeah, what God's really, be, what, in my opinion, what God most likely will be checking for is how you act in the main. Not what, oh well, you, I mean, who can't, we can all thank God after a big win. Who can't do that? What happens to six months down the line, how your actions and your behaviours for the main, on average, is what will matter. Not, oh, well, thanks, Ties. You shouted me out, but then all you did was be a fiend for money. It's a bad look. It really is, and it's starting to... Well, it's already pissed me off, but... It, 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 I mean, if this fight don't happen because of this, Tyson Fury will go down the same way AJ will go down as the biggest weightlifting bum. Tyson Fury will go down as the man who was so fiend... was such a fiend for money, he blew his legacy... Because if Fury ducks this fight, and it will be a duck, I'm sorry, it will be a duck. All of my, all, obviously, the Fury Man fans will tell you, oh, no, I be, he's not ducking, he just, I don't know what you'd call it. I don't know what this is. I've actually never seen this one before. I've never seen a big fight not happen strictly because someone was being completely ridiculous for money. And that will be a first. Fury will go down as the biggest money-hungry bag chaser I've ever seen. He will literally, he will be rivaling AJ. Both men, two men, I've never, it's such a shame, yeah, that at the top of the sport, you've got two men who are completely, and, and uh, I understand it, when you're broke here, yeah, it's easy to, to idolise money, but these guys have money, I just wonder, what's missing from these guys' heads, you've already got a whole bunch of money, what, I, just, I can't understand that, you've got a whole bunch of money already, and but yet all you seem to want to do is fiend for more, it's a bad look, man, I don't know who advises these guys, I don't know what goes through their head, but it's not, yeah, it's a no for me. And it's killing, it's starting to, part of me wants him just to F off, in it? You know, if you don't want to fight, just go sit down somewhere then. Both of them, AJ, a AJ, if you don't want to get stuck in, go sit down somewhere. Fury, if all you want to do is talk about the money, you can also go sit down somewhere. Just get rid of these weird ass guys.